All right, this is Ed Carbohall once again with Austin Bashy for Spectation Sports. Austin, now's the time, right? You finally get the call. Dana White's Contender Series. It only took you 12 flights in however many years. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. So, um, so f first of all, like, I know we kind of like hinted at it the last time we spoke when you did your last fight with uh, Lights Out Championship. Um, was there, you, there were so many variables leading up to, to where you are right now. Um, first of all, how does it feel? Feels good, you know, uh, since I let a kid, I've been working my whole life to become a UFC champion and, uh, this is my first big opportunity into the UFC, so it feels good. I remember you had uh, I forget what you were in Vegas for, but you had like take you had posted a picture with with Dana White way back when it was like maybe a year or two ago. Um, was there any talk then? Did he even know you like who you were or that you were fighting or trying to get your get under in his radar? No, that was just uh, me running into him, honestly. But nothing. No, he didn't know anything. So, you know. When we had talked, uh, the last fight that you had, um, there was a last minute opponent change. You went up in weight. There was just so many like different variables from what you were doing. And I know that the weight, the weight, the uh, going up in weight was kind of planned. But um, with all those things happening, and no knowing that this was on the line, was there any doubt or concern about you not getting a call and thinking, man, how long am I going to have to be fighting like this? Yeah, there was a lot of things that happened uh, during that last fight. We went through a lot of opponents during that, like, those last seven, six, seven days. And um, honestly, I knew about the Contender Series fight before I even fought in that June fight. But um, for me, it was I wanted to fight at Featherweight once before uh, getting the shot at Contender Series. And also, I didn't want to wait one whole year since I fought because the last time I fought besides June was September. So it would have been one full year, but uh, that was the main thing for me. I really wanted to fight in June. Mm. And um, you just mentioned it, but uh, the move to featherweight, I mean, I, like you said, it, it was kind of planned, but do you think that's what helps you get, get to finally get the call? No, I don't think so. I just, uh, me moving up to featherweight would just because I'm, I'm only 22. I'm still growing. And uh, still today, right now, I'm still growing. And uh, 35 was a very, very hard cut. Like, my last five fights were super hard to make 135. Mm. Yeah, but you still did it, though. And, and I know you had mentioned that last time, too, that you're kind of recognizing that your body's growing and, and your structure and your frame is just getting bigger. So you're, you're trying to keep up with your with your own uh, natural growth. Um, so you, you're, you're they have you facing Tommy McMillan, who's also undefeated. Um, as far as the matching goes, I mean, I I know you're just ready to show up to work where, regardless of who is in front of you, especially with what happened in the past. So uh, how do you feel about the matchup? Uh, what do you know about your opponent? I love this fight. Love this matchup. Uh, you know, he's coming out of Sean O'Malley's gym. So he has a pretty big name, which is honestly great for me. I'm very happy I'm fighting a guy with a, with someone that has a, pretty big following under him and uh, i feel like i match up great against him you know man i mean watching your career i remember when they did the young guns thing with you with the xfc and all that um i mean it's not like you haven't been under bright lights and the cameras and everything before but i mean this is the ufc i don't know if you've been through the machine yet or if they've t if they brought you to vegas already um to kind of just like like get your get your feet wet with all with everything they do when it when it comes to a fight night um how do you feel as far as like nerves jitters anything like that oh uh, so yeah it's you saying that is, so my first fight for the xfc was uh live on nbc sports and they had me as the first fight on the main card and it was me versus this one guy enzo and pretty much whoever won that fight was the the guy they pushed to be the man of the show and so to me it's honestly like kind of like that you know i fought on nbc sports i fought on fox sports and i fought on major tv already so it's kind of it was nice to have that before going into this yeah i mean that was a pretty big platform that they were on um but i mean given now the sport is so much bigger i mean it it feels <laughs> it feels like it's so uh, so long ago but like Watching your career, I mean, uh, it's it's crazy because what were you nineteen when that happened? Nineteen or twenty? Nineteen. Wow, 
And you're and you're uh, uh, 22 now. Yes. So it's 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 that's a lot of work in two years. <laughs> do you uh, do you? Uh, I mean, how's uh, how does your body feel? Are you are you used to it already? I know you're big. I mean, based on on your uh, social media posts, I mean, it looks like you're coming into the the featherweight class pretty well. But uh, how, how does how's your body handling all this? Handling a what? You're saying mentally or just uh everything like like the the wear and tear i mean the, the yeah, any, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 of course uh pretty you know that's how it is i'm at the gym like six to seven days a week two days or two a days obviously you get sore but uh, i take my recovery real serious as well so that's been helping me a lot too yeah i mean and you're young so the recovery uh the recovery is uh is uh it's almost superhuman i remember when i was your age so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, last question, uh, we're going to be a lot of new eyeballs on you that haven't watched, seen you fight, you know, uh, ESPN plus, um, one of the biggest exposure that, that there is for, for a, a fighter, uh, let the new fans know what to expect from Austin Bashy. Yeah, you could expect, uh, pretty much someone who sprints through the whole fight, whether it's 15 minutes, 25 minutes. I've fought 25 minutes before, and uh, I just keep coming forward no matter what. This is going to be a 15-minute fight, so you can expect 15 minutes of uh, some hard, hard action, and me just keep going and not stop. And that's one thing I feel like when it comes to guys like you, especially as having watched your career. Um, I mean, you can go, you can go the full five rounds. You're always ready to go to the end, and and I think that's one thing that a lot of folks don't don't realize with a young young fighter like yourself. I'm looking forward to it, man. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Well, Austin, um, I mean, that's all I have uh, for you. I don't know if there's anything you want to shout out or or, or, or sponsors you want to give credit to, but uh, I'm looking forward to your fight, man. The floor is yours. Yeah, of course. Uh, first, all glory to God. You know, he's put me on this journey, and uh, he's he's given me this big opportunity right over here, and I can't thank him enough for that. And also, thank you to all my family, fan sponsors who've been with me since the beginning of time. All right. Well, September 3rd, the, 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 uh, big big Tuesday night for you, man. Looking forward to it. It's only a couple of weeks away. So once again, uh, folks, keep an eye on Austin Bashy. You're going you're gonna to see a lot from this kid, and I'm looking forward to it, man. Thank you again for, for making time to talk. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. All right. Cool. Take care. Thank you. You too. Have a good one.